Greetings everybody, John here with the walkthrough for the third mission, Perfect Stealth, No Kills, S Ranking, uh, Metal Gear Solid 5, this is the fifth mission, or I'm sorry, the fourth mission, C2W, so what you're, what you're supposed to do on this mission is uh, destroy the three piece of, pieces of com, uh, communications equipment, there's like three radio broadcasting things at the marker here, and um, so I just edited out uh, basically riding my horse over to this crack in the wall over here, and I should, I should reiterate this, that on all of these missions, when you're going for S rank, ignore, like, skip as much as you possibly can. This is your first time through, obviously. You may want to uh, clear out the guard post on the way there and fulton a bunch of people out to start building up your base. But for right now, just focus on getting right to the objective and completing the objective because you get a nice big time bonus. Um, so I'm taking this kind of back route because this makes it a little bit easier to get there quickly. And... Um, Plant C4 and then get the hell out of there. Uh, so I, you need to have C4. Well, C4 is going to make this mission a lot easier, and then some sort of like RPG or grenade launcher or something like that, just to get off one shot for the third one. That's pretty far away because there's three of them you got to get. Um, and also, uh, this is a good time to explain how the harder difficulties work in this game. It's really freaking confusing because this is the first mission that you actually get to do a harder difficulty of um, after you basically complete. Main storyline complete chapter one. Um, okay, so here, here are the three radio things, um, and I think you have to hit LB to tag them or have your dude, uh, the radio guy, come in and say like, "Oh, that that's the target. That's the target." Um, so after you complete, I think it's like thirty something missions and complete the main game, then you get like some. You, you get a couple new missions, and this is the first one, and it's called Subsistence Difficulty, and there's a couple other different difficulties as well, and what that means is you basically start the mission with zero equipment. Like, you get no guns, you get no explosives, you get no nothing, and uh, and the enemies are, I think they're a little bit smarter as well, and have better vision. Um, so I'll be doing a separate video for this mission because it's essentially the exact same mission the exact same objectives in the exact same spot uh but with harder enemies so I'll, I'll have a separate video for that eventually but it's not like it's harder difficulty in a way i've never seen a game do it before because it's it's an unlockable difficulty in that it's like the 31st or 32nd mission in the game and you have to play up to that point to do it but it's not an unlockable difficulty in the way that, I don't know, like a God of War or a lot of games would have like choosable difficulties for each mission. And, uh, okay, so what I'm doing here is I blew up the two things of C4, sent them over there, or, you know, distracted the hell out of them, and then just shot the third one with the grenade launcher from afar. And I very nearly ran right on top of some uh, claymores here. <laughs> uh, so be very careful that there's a couple claymores over here. So basically, after you destroy those things, I mean, if you don't, like, as long as you're not seen, then you will still get perfect stealth, no kills. You just have to not be seen. You can cause a huge disturbance like that, you can set off tons of C4, but as long as they don't find you, it's still considered perfect stealth, which is kind of counterintuitive. You would think that there's... And I was really hoping that there was going to be some way to disable those things by... I don't know, uh, climbing up to them and then using wire cutters or something like that to disable them, or uh, using that knife to jam it into the machinery and cut the wires or something, but I, I, I don't know, but there isn't. So anyway, S rank, perfect stealth, no kills, no retries, very easy mission when you know where to go, what to do. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next walkthrough. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more updates, and if this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. Game on.